Hi guys, welcome back to Pro Hire Truck TV. And last week I promised you uh, the second part of our edition on our mirrorless tracks unit. And we find ourselves today local to our head office in Stoke-on-Trent and with um, one of our long established customers, DSET. And as part of that, we're going to look at briefly on the whole piece around the double deck trailer we're going to pull, how the tractor works, and introduce um, one of the DSET colleagues to give us a little understanding of of what it is that they actually do. So right now, before we go back outside, what I want to try and do now is make sure that you have a full understanding of the DSA ah, So for that to happen, I'd like to introduce to Ross, who will give us a, a bit of an understanding, quickly, who, who this company is. Hey Ross, how are you doing? Nice to meet you, good, good. So what I'd like to really try and get a feel for is, is just who it, as quickly as possible, really, with the time is at the who we really are here and what we do with Mar Marvel's warehouse. Well, as you can see, this is our um, warehouse. It's 180,000 square foot. Uh, we deliver about 60,000 parcels a week wow. to um, various retailers, uh, some of the big guns, the Tesco's, Morrison's, Sainsbury's, Asda's, Wilkinson's, nice. the main top five. Yeah. Uh, we deliver clip strips, uh, cosmetics, and anything that comes through the door really, anything, you know, we'll move anything that we have to move. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. So you, you do that on a, a seven day basis, 24 hours it's a day? A, it's a five day basis on about a 20 hour day. Wow. So it's, it's a lot of hours. So plenty of work for the track team. Yeah, 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 there is all work. Ross, brilliant, thank you very much for that. What we're going to do now is we're going to take a walk outside and have a look at our, uh, our wonderful equipment. outside now in the car park with, uh, with our mirrorless tractor unit and our DSET double deck trailer. So those who watched last week will remember that I promised we'd try to bring a double deck trailer into the frame. Now of course we're, we're delighted uh, to be allowed to use one of our long established customers tra equi trailers equipment for this, for, this, for this operation and also delighted to welcome back Bob from uh, Truck Mercedes and Bob is going to run us through this. Hi, Pat. How are you Bob? How are you doing, mate? Now, Bob's going to run us through this, the technical part of this, showing you how the, the mirrorless benefit get, the autonomous part of this is, is going to operate for us. And I'm really excited to show you how this is going to work for you, and I think you're going to get a real, real buzz out of it. But, guys, don't forget to subscribe to everything that we're trying to achieve, and remember that what we're showcasing here today, of course, you can have from us contract tyre, both the tractor and the trailer. So why don't we now get on with this, get in the track, get on the road and let's get going. So one of the things I was promised here today is the fact that this track unit was had an inbuilt pedestrian protection. So we're going to try it. So what I'm hoping to do really is walk out from this 40 foot -40 track unit and not be killed. Now clearly if I am run over then it doesn't work. So let's hope it does. So keep our eyes and see what happens. It does work, and as you can see, that the track unit is stopped on its own, and I can assure you it wasn't for you'd be quite happy to see me run over. So thank you for that. As mentioned last week, when we connect a trailer to this tractor unit, we need to tell the truck where the back of the trailer is. I've put a marker on the floor, so we scroll down and set the line level with the marker, set, and that's it. The truck now knows where the back of the trailer is. Thing with having a uh, double deck trailer on, um, we can set the cornering speeds uh, for the vehicle. Obviously, uh, a vehicle with this height, we want to set the cornering speed as low as possible. So we'll set it at a minimum. As you can see, we can turn it up. I'd already turned it down to minimum anyway. But that's what we can set uh, for the vehicle. So we set that as okay. And there you go. So that's the. Um, that's set the vehicle now, knowing that we've got a big high trailer on it, uh, so we won't go round a corner too fast, which we'll see later. Right, so we're just coming up to a roundabout now, uh, and we're going to turn right, so we'll see how the mirror works, uh, whereas normally you'd lose the side of the trailer and it'd fill the mirror, whereas on the new Actros 5 with mirror cam, as you can see, the trailer wheels stay in the centre of the mirror without me having to do anything at all. So we're 
driving through the middle of Stoke at the moment. Um, I'm on semi-autonomous mode where the truck is driving itself. Uh, it's got a vehicle in front uh, that it's recognised is doing 42 miles per hour. It's 35 metres in front. It knows the speed limit is 50 miles an hour. It's keeping the distance to the vehicle in front. I'm not touching anything. No pedals, no accelerator. The truck is driving itself and maintaining it in its own distance. Right, we're just coming up to a roundabout. The truck uh, is in eco roll at the moment because it's going over the brow of a hill. Uh, as we come down to this roundabout, she'll engage power, drop a gear, and then you'll see on the dashboard it's telling me that there's a roundabout in 700, 600 metres, and we're going to take that roundabout at 14 mile an hour. I'm still not touching any pedals, I still haven't braked myself. The truck is now engaging exhaust brake on its own I'm going to indicate and pull over to the right hand lane because we're going all the way around this it's picked up on the uh, vehicle in front and she's now slowing down no brakes from myself nothing from myself the traffic lights are on green oh no they're stopped so we'll have to stop in this occasion but normally we would have let the truck carry on around there without any problem Right, so we're off again. So if you keep an eye on this mirror as we go round this roundabout, you will see how the trailer stays in the centre of my screen. And I don't have to lean forward to see where the trailer is or anything. We're not very lucky today, we seem to have hit every red light on this roundabout. to the other camera you'll see as we turn left the same thing the driver doesn't need to lean over his steering wheel to see where his trailer is so we've come off the A50 now and we're uh, the truck knows it's in a 30 zone so it's uh, keeping its speed down to 30 and it's, uh, knows it's narrow here and we're coming up to a roundabout it'll soon show on the dash that we're coming up to this roundabout got a speed camera in front of us so we're uh, hoping the truck behaves itself there we go it's seen the roundabout it said it's in 150 meters and we're going to go round the roundabout at nine miles an hour again I'm not touching any pedals at the moment straight over sorry there's a car coming so I'm going to have to break I'll press resume and let the truck get back on with it. Left on this next one. So we're coming up to this roundabout again now, and uh, it knows there's another one here, so if nothing comes, which unfortunately there is something coming, I was going to let it go on its own, but that's gone, so I'll press resume and let the truck take itself round the roundabout. Turn left. Right, we're coming up to the roundabout now. It's going to take this one a bit slower. We've got a big double deck trailer on, and as we did earlier, we set the uh, cornering speed uh, to a bit slower because of obviously the height of the trailer. The last thing we want to be doing is going around corners quickly. Right, there's nothing coming, so tap on the accelerator to tell the truck that there's nothing coming, and off she goes. Here we are back again and I have to say I hope you found what we did as amazing as I did and in fairness um, what I'd like to do is thank Bob for amazing 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 opportunities that we've had to with the tractor today.
and, and the work that we've done with this. So I hope you found our video entertaining and interesting um, with our mirrorless trapped unit. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and please like it if you can. Bear in mind all of our information, all the information about the equipment that you've seen today is available on our website. So don't be shy and safe channels.